Yo, yo. So today is the 13th. Uh, it's going to be a short video because I only took three trades. And as I said in my yesterday's video, uh, I'm going to have three winners today. And that's exactly what I did. So uh, three winners are... Uh, that's wrong. Here, Euro UD, USD CHF, and USD JPY. So let's let's go over them. Euro UD is in a range. They're actually pretty fresh. So Euro UD is in a range, right? <clears throat> Took this cell on Friday here, from here to here, and. Uh, Essentially, it's still a head and shoulders, right? So, and it's still kind of at the neckline. And there's two wicks here now with divergence. And I don't usually use I don't use Fibonacci as a end all be all. If there's no Fibonacci, there's no trade. I just it's a thing that I just like to watch sometimes. I don't base my trades on Fibonacci. I just it's, but I want to see if it works. So right now it's it uh, from from this swing high to this swing low. These two wicks are at a thirty eight point two Fibonacci, right? So I don't know what you want with this information. <laughs> uh, it's not an end all be all for me. Uh, and yeah, two wicks. So I didn't I didn't base this trade on Fibonacci. Uh, I don't even know why I threw it up there. Uh, but yeah, a small downtrend, top of the range, still at the neckline of the head and shoulders, two wicks with divergence. So kind of a break and retest. And yeah, took a sell. And there was like some... Um, I managed to keep my greed uh, in check because I thought about doing my stop loss like this and it would have pretty much hit within the first few hours but it's a good thing i i didn't do this because yes this trade would have worked out but the usd chf trade that i took i also thought about putting my stop loss to here and that would have stopped out so yeah i'm glad i kept my greed in check well even even wiser thing wiser thing would have been to put my stop behind on on top of these highs and these wicks here but uh yeah like this and Almost hit my stop, but didn't. And there was some high impact news, some interest rate news, I think, on USD. So uh, that's why the long candle here. So still uh, in, in a downtrend, right? On higher time frames. And a break. So there's a resistance line here. So support broke came back to retest it's been ranging here for a while now it made a divergence here and it started to move down i entered and it went into a bit of a drawdown but in the end of the day hit my take profit and uh, same deal on us jpy i took this cell from here to here somewhere and i actually did say that the retest or the touch was so gentle that I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be a second test here when that's going to go a little bit deeper into the zone and that's exactly what happened. And now there's divergence here, although a small one. Uh, but yeah, multiple touches, two wicks and uh, you can also kind of say that it's an well yeah it is it's an m right so m is a reversal pattern and uh 
yeah that's uh, that's the reason behind it it started to move down I entered went into a bit of a drawdown and then well yeah this trade would have been like a monstrous winner well not monstrous one to three that I would have been comfortable holding one to four but yeah one to one I'm I'm of course my end goal is not my end goal my short-term goal is to transition out of the one-to-one -one, maybe going to one to one point five one to two uh close half profits when one to one and then full full take profit at one to two something like that but uh one to one is an uh, easy way to get into trade trade management you have a very simple plan on where you're gonna exit, where you, where where's your, where's your stop, where's your take profit, how long are you gonna hold the trade, and etc. Right. So it's a very simple trade management tool, the one-to-one -one trades, and that's the reason why I'm doing this because uh, I've been trading for like three years now. That I've been pretty pretty much. Uh, there's a very small time, very small portion of the, the of the three years that I've been live. Right now, I'm still on demo. I'm back on demo, and um, I know that I don't have a problem finding trades anymore. But I have a problem with uh, well, not problem. I need to learn how to take profits from the market because a lot of the times and i've spoken about this before a lot of the times uh my trades go into a little bit of profit like one to one or even one to two or even maybe one to three or four and i haven't closed because i'm i want more right i'm greedy i, I mean i was greedy. <laughs> uh i was i was greedy i wanted more i wanted to pass the challenge in one to two one or three days right so i wanted I wanted this kind of movements from every trade I took, right? So, but that's not realistic. And uh, that's why I went back to one to one trade because that's a very simple and very basic, very basic uh, trade management tool, right? So that's why I'm doing this. And uh, yeah. Uh, that's it for the day because I went over the th three trades I took and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys and girls, trade safe.